What's up guys, Sila here, and we're back on the 5.2 PTR, and they've added three new Hunter Spirit Beasts for in the game. And these will be, be available in 5.2, and these are all porcupine pets, uh, all unique and all from different locations. The red one being Deju, the green one being uh, Hutia, and the blue one being Gumi. Now we've already covered the blue one Gumi, so in this video we're going to be covering Hutia. Um, all of them have unique taming challenges in a sense, so it's not just going to be as straightforward as just tame. So, Hutia can be found in the Jade Forest, as you can see on the map, it's just near the uh, Tiang Monastery, or Tian Monastery even. And you will need Glyph of Tame Beast along with Silence in Shot to tame this. Now, it is a Spirit Beast, so you are going to need to be Beast Master Spec to tame these. And it is level 90 with a roughly 4 million HP. Now it does have this strong will buff, which causes it to not be tameable above 20% uh, HP, so you do need to whittle it down to 20% before you're able to tame it. And the trick to Hutia is it'll randomly cast a heal, and um, it does cast it while on the move as well, so you want to make sure you interrupt that with silence in shot. This mob can be scatter shotted as well, so keep that in mind, and just make sure you interrupt the heals all the time, otherwise it is quite a big heal, it seems to be like roughly 25% it heals for. So make sure you get them interrupted, and it does melee for a hell of a lot, so you want to be kiting it around with scatter shot, or sorry, uh, concussive shot. As you can see, I'm just kiting it around this tree where it spawns. Now I'm not too sure on the spawn timers on these mobs, as it is PTR, they seem to have a very short spawn timer. But on live, I'd imagine it to be roughly sort of 8 to 16 hours. Um, just sort of the average rare respawn. Now these aren't actually rares, the class is normal elites. That'll probably change for when the game, or the, when 5.2 goes live, they'll probably be classed as rare elites. But for the time being, they're just normal elites. So as I said, roughly sort of maybe 8 to 16 hours on average. Um, but I'll be able to confirm that when 5.2 actually comes out. Now as you can see, I'm in a pre-made Hunter, so I'm in blue gear, so my damage isn't very high at all. So it does take me quite a while. If you're in a decently geared Hunter and you actually know what you're doing, I've not played Hunter for a while, if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to do this a lot quicker. So as you can see, we've hit the 25% or 20% benchmark. And before I attempt to tame it, I make sure he's attempted to heal. I interrupt the heal and then try to tame immediately after I've interrupted the heal. Because there's nothing worse than trying to tame it and then it healing and you not being able to finish the tame. So I throw down a slowing trap and make sure our concussive shot is up and then we're easily able to tame. And that is another spirit beast captured. So that is a Hutia and Gumi captured. And there's only one more left which is Deju. So look out for that in the next video. It is a standard spirit beast so it will have the standard spirit beast abilities. And yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this guide's helped you out. See ya!